hello guys welcome back again i'm mj in this video i'll show you how to fix wi-fi or network adapter not showing or missing after you update windows 11 latest os okay so before i start my video i have only one request 99 percent of you are not subscribing to my channel if you got any help from my video then please subscribe it now come to the topic how to fix wi-fi or network not working not showing or disappear after you upgrade windows 11 or normally if you are not getting the wi-fi you can follow this stuff so first and the basic method is go to start go to setting go to system and here open the troubleshoot go to other troubleshooter here in the network and internet click the run so sometime it will be happened because of the minor issue so some minor issue will fix by troubleshooting so try this basic method first okay if this not work then second option is go to network and internet scroll down here click on advanced network setting and then click on network reset so this will reset your all network to factory default after this you need to configure your network or wi-fi once again okay so try this the second method if it's not work then the third option is right click on this pc here if you find the manage then click on if you don't find then go to show more option and then click on manage now click on device manager here if you see the network adopter then extend it and right click on it and click on scan for hardware changes so this will show the missing or disappear network adopter if this not work then go to view and here click on show hidden devices this will also show the hidden devices okay if you don't see the network adopter here then click anywhere here like this and click on action and then click on scan for hardware changes okay and it will bring back your network adopter so when you get the network adopter just extend this and here find your wi-fi or ethernet driver for example this is my driver so right click on it and click on update now click on browse my computer for driver then let me pick up from a list and select the available driver here and then click next and this will install the driver for your network adopter or wi-fi and after installation the most important thing is you need to restart your pc okay so restart your pc if it's not work then do one thing uninstall this your network okay so right click on your network and uninstall the device click on uninstall device and after this reboot your pc when you reboot your pc windows will automatically install the suitable driver for your network okay this is the most important thing when you uninstall the your network you need to restart your pc okay restart it it will fix your problem if it's not work then next step is go to start and here type services open the services in the services find the wlan so just press the w from your key and it will redirect to w section here select the wlan this one wlan auto config right click on it or double click on it it should be automatic and it should be running if it is stop then click on start here and then click apply and ok and reboot your pc and hopefully this will fix your problem if it will not work then do one thing I go to your network properties ok and then change it after setting here select your ethernet or wi-fi right click on it go to property and here uh, select the network protocol version 4 and then property and then select the use the following dns server addresses here type 8.8.88 .8 and in the alternate dns server type 8844 and then click ok and ok and close it and now try to use your internet if it's not work then the next step is open the cmd go to start here type cmd that's mean run command right click on it and click on run as administrator so here you need to type this command okay so type this first command net sh winsock reset and hit enter and after this type this command net sh int ip reset and hit enter so type one by one command and then hit enter and most important thing is this ip config flash dns okay so type all this command one by one and after each command hit enter it will perform the tasks okay after you complete all this thing 
simply close everything and restart your pc and hopefully you will get back your missing driver or missing wi-fi network if it's not work then the next powerful method is and the next powerful method is completely shut down your pc okay completely shut down it and after this remove everything from your cpu like power cable keyboard mouse or any external devices you are connected then remove all and then hold the power button for 30 seconds first shut down your computer remove all cable from your uh, cpu and then hold the power button for 30 seconds okay and after this after you holding the 30 seconds of power then reconnect all the cables to your cpu and then restart your computer and hopefully this will get back your missing network adapter or if you're using the laptop remove the laptop battery if you are not able to remove the battery or the, the battery is not removable then let it to drain the all battery of your laptop okay so don't charge your laptop let it to completely battery dead your laptop off after all your battery discharge when your laptop is uh, battery dead then perform the same task press and hold the laptop power button for 30 seconds okay after 30 seconds leave the power button and then restart your laptop and hopefully this will fix your problem so i have showed five or six method let me know in command which option or which method fix your issue so thanks for watching guys catch you next time please like share and subscribe thank you very much guys